this is White Mojo Wolf, and I want to do a special video for you guys today. We're going to talk about these little things called the Souls games. What's the allure of the Souls games? I'll tell you what my whole experience is with these games. What makes these things so dang alluring? And then the latest one that really got me is this guy right here. So. Basically, uh, there's a software company called From Software that make these games. Um, Bandai Namco publishes them. And it all started with a game called Demon Souls back in 2019. My gosh, no, it started in 2009. I skipped ahead 10 years there. It started all the way back in 2009. I remember when this game came out on the PS3, and after about, about a couple weeks... I went and bought a copy at GameStop and plugged it in my PlayStation, and I loved it at first. I thought it was cool making my character. At the time, the game looked great, and it was just real neat seeing something so precise. The combat was accurate at the time, and it, it was just a whole new world. But the more I played into the game and the more it kind of exposed me to how Demon Souls works, I thought, this is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's what I really thought of the game at the time. And I tried fighting the first boss, the Phalanx, and I couldn't do it. And, you know, I know the whole point of the games I knew even back then was, yeah, you're supposed to die a lot in this game. The guy at GameStop even told me that. Because he was playing it as well. He's like, God, just know that this isn't the game you're used to playing. I thought, ah, oh, you know, I'll figure it out. No. And so what happened was, I just put the game on the shelf. I just, I was like 16 years old maybe at the time, 15, 16. And I wasn't about playing those kind of games. Um, back then, I got pretty big temper with the games, and I didn't really want to mess with it, so... I put it on the shelf, and when this game called Fallout New Vegas hit the stores, I remember taking my copy to GameStop, giving it to the people, saying, here, take the game, I, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad I did that at the time, because Fallout New Vegas was great. But a few years later, there's a game called Dark Souls that came out. And I wondered, was this made by the same people? So I did a little research, and they were unveiling this game, and sure enough it was like the next logical step and i would watch people play it on twitch and everything well back then i think it was justin tv still but i would watch people live stream this game and think you know what it's still not for me it's fun to watch i kind of get the game but i didn't want to jump in and play it it, it wasn't enough so dark souls came out didn't want it dark souls 2 came out Let's cover up that little thing. Dark Souls 2 came out. Didn't want it. Dark Souls 3 came out about six, seven years ago. Didn't want it. I thought about it this time, but nevertheless, didn't want it. But, there's this game called Elden Ring that they started developing. They said, yes, it is going to be a Souls game, but it's going to be the next evolution. And they started announcing things like George R. R. Martin was going to be heavily involved in setting up the world building for it. And, of course, we know he did Game of Thrones. And at the time, Game of Thrones was at the peak. And so it was setting up nicely. I thought, you know what? I almost bought Dark Souls 3. But I just I didn't do it. I was like, you know what? I think Elden Ring is going to be the game. But let's see how it is. And so the trailer came out for Elden Ring, I think the middle of last year, back in 2021. And I watched the trailer, and I was amazed. I thought, okay, yeah, I'm getting this game. And I think it was delayed maybe a month. And uh, it's kind of funny, when this game came out in uh, February, we were in the middle of a pretty decent snowstorm. And so my wife, she was had to stay at a hotel because she got stuck in town because the snow came a lot quicker than they thought it would and I was just at home and I started watching people play this game I was like okay the game's out let's see how it is and maybe when the snow thaws I might go get a copy sure enough I thought okay this is it 
And so, you know, kind of speed forward. I went and got the game, blah, blah, blah. Put it in the Xbox, installed, and I played a little bit. You know, kind of same feeling I had with Demon's Souls. But here was the problem. I was getting my ass handed to me pretty bad. I started as the, uh, what do you call it, the Confessor. I was trying to heal myself, kind of playing like a little Paladin build. Even the most basic bobs are kicking my ass. They were just killing me left and right, up and down, dying and dying and dying and dying. And I thought, okay, well, eventually I kind of figured out how to beat those guys. And then the bosses, I just could not do it. And so I put the game down for a week. I watched other people play it. I'm like, look, dang, I just can't do it. But um, I was talking to my friend about it. He was uh, he played a mage. And I was more of a, you know, bonk, melee type guy. He said, well, give it a shot. He said, you got to come back to it. Just keep trying. I told him, man, it's going to take me all evening to fight this one boss. He said, so what? Give it a shot. I was like, all right, sure. So I took the tree sentinel, the guy that's kind of riding around at the start. I fought him for like two hours. I tried every single which way to get him. Eventually, I figured out the way I could get him. It was just a matter of keep on trying. And then I kind of realized, I told my friend, I was like, look, man, I'm getting him down to about 30% health left. He's like, well, what level are you? I kind of showed him my character. He's like, oh, dude, go explore. You, you need to get a little stronger. I was like, okay, huh. So, sure enough, went leveled up a couple times, took him down. Just the feeling of victory, of, of overcoming something like that, just, you don't get that in games anymore. There is no easy mode on this game. But with Elden Ring, I think it is the most accessible because you have more tools than any of these other Souls games in fighting your enemy. If if they're kicking your ass, all right, we'll come back in a few more levels and see how it goes. Try something else. I mean, there are so many ways to skin these cats, and it's just it's just one of those games that you don't see often. Very, it doesn't hold your hand, but at the same time, it's not insurmountable. You just it's just we're so used to like these Ubisoft games and Bethesda and Rockstar kind of catering to us, making it as easy as we want to make it, and just you know kind of holding our hand. FromSoft doesn't really do that. They give you plenty of tools, but you have to put in that work, and I think that's what makes Elden Ring so dang alluring. And so I'm I'm still hooked on the game, as you guys know. When I get a chance, I like streaming my main character with you guys. I have another character I'm trying on there. And other than that, I started working my way back. You know, that one stream we did, Dark Souls 3. And it's just, every time I beat these bosses, it's just, it's hard to explain the feeling. It's like major accomplishment. But eventually with these dark souls games and with elden ring i promise you from my personal experience you have to keep trying and don't give up because one day eventually it you might not it's just i can't explain when it clicked after i killed the tree sentinel you know what i did i went and fought the dragon right down there at the lake killed him first try it's just it teaches you patience and discipline and that's what got me over the top so, yeah, it, it's a great game. All these are. The Souls-like games, I used to be scared of them, but I have a newfound respect for them, and I hope they keep making great games because these three right here are awesome, and I'm hoping to get Dark Souls 2 one day. But other than that, I just want to let you guys know, don't be afraid of these games. They're fun. I used to not play these things. I was scared of them. But I got Elden Ring, and it just, it, it eased me into it. And one day, it'll just click. I promise you guys, it will. And Dark Souls has this whole concept of never go hollow. Basically, you're supposed to die in each of these games. There is no permanent death. And you don't really lose anything. You lose some runes. You lose some souls. You can come back to where you died, pick them right back up, and keep on trying. And even if you lose a lot of them, you can farm them right back. It's no big deal. You really don't lose. It's just you got to keep trying and trying and trying. And eventually, you get it. But if you quit trying in the games, you go hollow, which means you give up. 
and it's got a lot of lessons you can apply to life as well especially if you're struggling through some mental stuff but I just wanted to make a little video and kind of give you my take on these Souls games so far and just uh, I don't know I've had this idea and I wanted to do it so I set the camera up and went to it so <laughs> other than that this is White Mojo Wolf signing out everybody you guys have a great day see ya